everybody. So I've been thinking for a long time about doing a video about IKEA furniture. It seems like a strange video to make, but I think it's going to help with prepositions. So let's start. Okay, so we bought a new footstool. As you can see, this is an old footstool. Um, it's this kind of yellowy wood and we really want it to match this chair behind us which is made of like a brownie wood so we thought let's buy a footstool that matches to make our furniture match and look better than mismatching furniture so um i have some tools and i'm hoping that the other tools that i'm going to need are going to be inside the box which is just here i have a stanley knife um, this is just a, it's a razor blade, um, to cut open the box. Um, so here we go. Here's the box. Um, you can see what the stool is going to look like from that little picture. Is it upside down? Oh, it's upside down. But there you go. That's a kind of a preposition upside down. I'm going to cut the box open. So you're going to learn lots of vocabulary about like open, close, upside down, back to front, together, in, out, on top. And you're going to see how it's kind of used in a real life situation, um, putting furniture together. Okay, so open the box. Okay, we have the leaflet. So this is what I'm trying to make. It's the... Poang, I think, I don't know how that's pronounced, it's Swedish, but the Poang footstool for this chair. So, I'm going to show you what's in the box. Um, okay, so here's the box, and inside the box is the, I guess this is the base of the footstool, this is what you put your feet on. That there, and here are the legs. One, two legs, and um, I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, this is support slats. These are the support slats. You can see here on the diagram that those are going to go between the two legs to support the legs. Um, okay, so there should be included a uh, four large screws um, or bolts and four nuts and one S-shaped Allen key. Okay, so I'll put you back there and we'll get on to it. So I shouldn't need this screwdriver, hopefully, um, as long as I've got my S-shaped Allen key, which is like the classic, the uh, classic tool for my IKEA. Every piece of furniture comes with this S-shaped Allen key. It's not actually an Allen key; I think it's a, a hexagonal key. Um, yeah, here it is. Okay, so I have my bag of important items okay so this is called a bolt and this is called a nut a nut and bolt nuts and bolt and you can also call this a screw because it screws into the bolt okay um, so I'll finish taking off this cellophane wrap okay so Step one, step one, I have to place the slats into the leg, okay, and then I fasten them together using this bolt and this nut, sorry you couldn't see, I, I, I have to place the slats or supports into the leg and fasten them with this bolt, so let's try that. 
Okay, so here's a leg and this is a support and the piece goes into, into these holes like this and now I need to put the other support onto, onto the leg. Um, let's just check the instructions to make sure sometimes you can't put both legs on you have to do other things first yes so oh, I've already done it wrong <laughs> great so um, in this in this um, instructions it says you have to put one leg on and two two struts first and then you slide in the uh, the base I guess that's called the base um, so I've put two legs on and one support, so I wasn't paying attention to my instructions. But that's okay, because I haven't tightened it. So I can undo, undo this one. <laughs> so I can undo this one and put the base on. So here's the base, and we're going to slide this base on. So these supports have got grooves. Can you see the grooves here? Where you can slot the base into this groove. So I'm going to try this. Um, if I move a bit so you can see me do it. There. Okay. So I'm sliding the base into these grooves. A bit tricky. There, I've done that. And then I can put the other leg on top. I have to position the... Um, I don't know what these things are called. <laughs> Okay, there. So that's done. Um, check my instructions again. It's such a simple thing, but you don't want to get it wrong because it's, it's annoying having to take everything apart. Okay, so I slid the base in and I put the leg on. So the legs are now in place. So now I just have to tighten it all up um, using these bolts so you can see the bolt so this isn't a bolt this is a nut the nut goes in here and there it goes the bolt hand tighten finger tighten and here's the other one so um oh I've got bolts running away from me okay Um, so, I want to finger tighten this. I think the other two were on. Okay, so then I need to tighten with the S-shaped Allen key, or hexagonal key. There we go. Um, tighten this one. Okay, I'm going to turn the chair around so that I can use the other side. See all these great prepositions. Um, I can work on the other side. There it is. I'm tightening it up. Some good phrasal verbs as well to tighten up. Oh, I'm missing the nut. Where's the nut? I'm putting it in there. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to turn it the right way up. And you 
should be able to see if I t tilt it down. There it is. And we just need to put the, um, the cushion on top. So let's try this. I'm gonna tear open the plastic. There we go. One finished footstool. Now I can put my feet up in style. Except actually I think the stool goes the other way around. I can put my feet up in style. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.